Right now we are at the Voodoo Manufacturing Factory in Bushwick, Brooklyn. Uh, behind me is a row of uh, Replicator 2 3D printers. Um, in this space as a whole, we have 160 machines. And we are manufacturing plastic parts on demand for customers. So one of the reasons that we are the first people to do what we're doing is because we have a very kind of deep software background, uh, which gave us the idea, hey, instead of running all of these machines individually with an SD card or a USB drive, for example, what if we could hook them all up to a central software platform and control them all as one system? We produce lots of different stuff. Uh, our kind of main advantage, you can almost say, is our ability to go and on one day produce object A, and the very next day produce object B. Uh, and that is something that pretty much all other manufacturing methods uh, are not good at doing because you have to create a mold before you create a new part. We think digital manufacturing is fundamentally different from traditional manufacturing because labor is not a key component of how this factory runs. When you start replacing certain jobs with automation, especially things like how these machines are running, the labor advantage that China has goes away. Having this factory with a two-week turnaround right next to your customers is actually a really big deal uh, when we're competing against a six-month turnaround from China. When you compare the types of products that we produce to injection molded parts, uh, yes, our parts do look 3D printed and not 100% you know, molded, but for a lot of the projects and products that we make, uh, you know, that is completely acceptable. Traditional manufacturing has its own space in the world. Um, right now, we're still only talking about 100,000 unit runs, uh, not 10 million units. You know, how many iPhones are being made every day, right? We're not going to be making iPhones in the next five years. But this is a new manufacturing tool, and any new technology entering a space uh, is disruptive. So clearly, there's going to be some, some shakeup.